Hi guys, my name is Andrew or AZ. It's another free part of the lesson number two of one of the best music production courses and audio mixing courses. Each week I create one 100 minutes lesson. On every Monday and every Thursday I publish a free video of 10 minutes. Those free videos are exact parts of that full 100 minutes lesson of that week. Subscribe and check the list of my videos. Learn from those free videos twice a week. Use these free videos as a real example of a full 100 minutes lesson of that week, which you can buy. And do it each week. Read the description or the first pin comment to understand how to buy this full 100 minutes lesson of this week or any other lesson. And for more details. Remember, due to my success, I was under attack of jealous haters. They tried to cancel me by hateful posts and they deleted all supporting comments on their controlled Reddit group. I give you a link over there to a video how I busted them, my credits, my history, Q&A on my course and verified reviews. Check the description or the first pin comment. 80% of the main topic and 20% as a bonus topic, mixer topic first. It's absolutely versatile system which clarify any mixer and you will never be lost in any situation. And then we quickly go to first serious topic of this course called Panorama. Panorama is not just left and right. You're gonna be surprised how much useful things you can learn from this topic. In the end of each class we have bonus topics, consider them like super important extra topics. First lesson on the studio setup. It's crazy cool topic where we're gonna bust all myths about studio acoustics, all this nonsense they all say. We're gonna even challenge serious companies like Genelec who make those top-end studio monitors and their system is actually wrong and I'm gonna prove mathematically why. All those myths about guest transmission coefficient, what panels you should use, bass traps. I already explained how to participate my course in lesson number one which is completely for free, find it in, on my channel. It was uh, early May of 2025. It just says lesson one. Another subject on the studio setup. What kind of a shape of the room is the best? Tell me through the through the screen of YouTube. It's a cubical, square, rectangular, or 2xx rectangular. You're probably asking what 2xx means. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, you answer in rectangular. It's the right choice. Um, some people actually say the best room potentially can be sphere you know, but uh, I'm not sure even how you're gonna organize studio like this. Uh, signal comes from this point to some surface. It will be always redirected with the other angle and the other angle and the other angle because angle of incidence equals angle of reflection in mathematics. Waveform always go with some angle to the wall and with the same angle it bouncing to the other direction. As we don't have parallel walls in this case, you're not gonna have problem with standing waves. I'm not sure how many people have experience with sphere type of rooms. Let's talk about real rooms. The worst, absolutely worst room is cubicle. The problem with cubicle rooms, it's standing waves. For this, we have this amazing GIF file which shows you how standing waves behave. So let's say you throw a waveform from your speakers to the wall. So it goes, it goes, it goes, bouncing according to physics rules, angle of incidence equals angle of reflection. So it goes through the same trajectory. It's like the same frequency waveform, but going in different directions. And how they sum up in different points of the room will be different. For example, on this picture you can see blue color. Let's imagine blue color starts from the left and going to the right. So it goes, let's start, up and goes, 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 this waveform goes, 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 bouncing becomes red and start going from the right to left. Go, 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 goes, 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 bouncing becomes blue and going back so, because parallel walls, right? They have to go with the same trajectories in this case. If you look, let's say over here, where my mouse cursor is, you can see that sometimes this red and blue all the way on the top of the picture, so they double the energy of each other. So they kind of summon up and becomes two times stronger and they become like more noticeable if you see it with your ear exactly in this point of the room, in this position of the room. When they go down, they double each other. So they double each other, they double each other. So you hear in this point anyway increased frequency. It's not what your mix plays, it's what your room amplifies. So your room misleads you because the standing waves and you think 
your bass frequency or something like this sounds actually too loud, while your mix doesn't have this frequency too loud. It's your room cheats you, you know what I mean? Now, if you just randomly, coincidentally sit in this red point, now you can see these two waveforms start to work opposite. They go against each other, they cancel each other. One's blue on the top, red on the bottom. One red on the top, blue on the bottom, in opposite. It's like two powers coming, going against each other, they kill each other, you know what I mean? And if you sit in this point of your room and you don't hear these frequencies, you think it has not enough lows or this frequency, you may increase it with equalizer, but it already has loud frequency, you just don't hear it. If you put your mouse cursor somewhere in between those points I explained, it will be partial out of phase cancellation. Eventually one of waveform overwhelms the other one, the more you increase EQ. One of two waveforms anyway will be a bit more powerful in this position, either blue or red. But it's still not true level of this frequency. You can say, maybe I need to find where to sit in the room not to have this. But the problem is it depends on the frequency. Your song can be da 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 but can be da 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 and it's already different lengths. And for one song maybe your positioning can be working, and for the other song with the lower frequencies, and lower notes of your instruments, and drums having a bit different frequency can be even worse even if you found perfect position for some of songs it's actually considered to be the biggest issue in acoustic setup you somehow need to fight standing ways which is super difficult one of solution to have major walls of your room unparalleled let's be honest you you live in a house or in an apartment you cannot really make unparalleled walls and i'm not talking those like super thin sort of uh, dry walls which you can install. I'm talking about really serious walls, heavy walls, which don't vibrate like this and amplify even more. I mean real walls which would be unparalleled. So what's the problem with cubicle room? Cubicle room amplifies not only in this direction, but even in this direction. Frequencies going around you in all directions. Just because of they have parallel walls, they start to go like this, like this, amplifying and cancelling, like this, like this, amplifying and cancelling, and even like this, like this, cancelling. So three dimensions, because the same distances between floor and ceiling, back and front wall, and left and right wall. You know, so cubicle room, it's completely craziness. Again, I'm not gonna exaggerate. Sometimes people can work in any environment. People are strong creatures. They can survive and found different ways around in different situations. So if you in cubicle room, don't give up. It, actually, I have a couple of amazing tricks how to avoid standing waves, even if you don't have acoustic treatment. It's unbelievable and I'm not gonna reveal it today, but I guarantee it will be an amazing trick. Again, I don't mean it's like fixes standing waves, it's just a little way around, you know. Next thing, it's a uh, square room. Also, so in the rating of worst rooms, square room is the war is the second worst. Because, let's say, left and right, front and back, have this double amplification, double issue with standing waves, and only one dimensions maybe have different distance between walls. It can be, let's say, two and a half meters from the ceiling to the floor, and two and a half, let's say, front and back, but let's say wider room horizontally. So it's the second worst. Rectangular 2XX is the next worst room. It's pretty no difference from square room. 2XX means distance on the side wall, let's say two times shorter than distance on the front wall. So front wall just two times longer than side wall. Or opposite, front wall 1X, side wall 2X. The problem is, for, for the sake of frequencies, as you can see, they deal with specific distance and specific behavior. Just because of it two times longer, it doesn't mean it's different length. It just doubles. But anyway, it's the same problem with the same points in the room. So, in this case, waveform go just two times longer like this, but creating the same issue. Like they do in this direction. But they just go in two times shorter distance. But it's the same issue with the same standing wave. In this case, the best, at least, realistic room you can have in your apartment or house is just regular rectangular room where all distances, all dimensions, are a bit different. So they don't double each other, just random three different distances. So let's say side wall three meters, this distance, let's say, five meters, and from the floor to the ceiling, 
Okay, 5.5, 5.3, and from the floor to the ceiling, 2.4. So if you double 2.4, it will not be 5.3. 2.4 is not 3. If you double 3, 3 plus 3 equals 6. 6 is not 5.3. So it's definitely a bit better. You still have parallel walls, but you're not gonna double or triple those like amplifications caused by standing waves. We're gonna call this topic the worst room shapes. And the rating is, first is cube, second is square, third is 2xx rectangular room, and fourth, which is already not too bad, is just rectangular room. Check the first pin comment or the description to find out how to buy any of full 100 minutes lessons, full guide, which class to choose, when exactly these lessons come out. Don't forget to check my channel twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays when I release free parts of those full-blown lessons.